Testing, one, two. Testies, one, two. What? Sorry. <laughs> hey guys, it's Plank Productions again. And you've rejoined us in the Legend of Zelda where we were just about to fuse consumes with Pina. So let's find out what this does, real quick. Hmm. This makes a chest appear in Lon Lon Ranch. Way. Hey. Gonna have to go pick that up when we get to it. So anyway, back on task with the subject. Hey guys, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda the Minish Cup. In the last episode, I can't actually remember what we did. I remember we got back to Hyrule Town, found a few heart pieces. Well, oh, we found one of them anyway. We've met the hurdy gurdy man who taught us how to fuse kinstones. So I was experimenting and I found Pina. So, first trade with the fuse trade coat. Fuse kinstones with him. Anyway, I'm just gonna go get some bombs here. I noticed there's a boomerang back there. We're gonna have to come get that when we have enough rupees too. There will be some other stuff in here we might wanna get, but we don't have the stuff for that yet. Oh god. You know, I actually failed at recording this once. Cause you, this is actually post commentary and watching me play as I, you know, commentate over it. Cause me being weird, I actually forgot to plug in my mic when I recorded this. So, you know. Oh look, another Kinstone trade with Pina. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm actually watching myself play right now and recording it. Damn, you guys got it easy. Like, you got a, like a 20 minute part. Anyway, that clear. Damn, I'm saying anyway a lot. That clears up water in South Hyrule Field. I think I go get that now, actually. Just kind of screw everything and go get it, and I plant wasting bombs already. So, moving on down. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, here we get loads of rubies. Way. It's actually a really nice secret to find early in the game. Cause we're, up, we're up to 82 rubies from like 7. It's really good, really good. Anyway, in this cave, moving on yet again, you will find fairies. They will restore, I think, five heart pieces, heart, five heart containers. But you can't do something which I will explain a little later. But I can't do it right now, so we'll come to that when we get there. Gosh, you know, I really need to start updating a little more than I am. Cause I mean, if I'm gonna get anyway, I'm gonna have to start updating a little more. And yeah, getting into it a lot more, you know. Ugh. Oh look, the well. Oh, oh god, I found the well. Oh, what's this? What's this? It's water and bats. Nothing good then. We will be coming to this well later in the game when we have a certain ability. But right now, yeah, we can't do anything. So, we'll just carry on with this level. Or this town, I should say. And here we have the mayor's office. It says there's something fishy about the room. We will come to that in a little bit. Yeah, I, I forgot to pick up the kinstone piece. So, the kinstone piece you need to trade with him is not that far, actually. What did I pause for? The kinstone piece we will get is right here in this little treasure chest. Which is utterly pointless. But still, they make you go get it. Now, there's actually a red kinstone piece I want to find before we try and tackle Mount Cornell. Which is where we need to go next for the fire element. But I, I don't know where to get that kinstone piece, so I may use a guide to look it up. I, I don't know, see, I don't know. We may be able to find it. 
Uh, I honestly can't for life me think where it is, but we need that item. I don't know why I was going over the map right here, but anyway, moving on. Let's go trade concerns with the mayor. Oh, look at that, another Kinsum piece trade in Long Long Range. Another one we can't actually get to. Oh, how useful. Now he's saying he loves masks. We're gonna wanna remember that for a lot later in the game, but later in the game nonetheless. Yes, we went up there, got the gravestone. And then moving on. I think that's kind of about it. But now that I have bombs, I kind of want to go down the hole to the bottom left there. If I do actually go down there, it's wasting time. Oh, come on, what the hell? Go go back and go down the hole, damn it! Well, more mysterious shells. We still don't even know what they do. Hmm. We'll get into that after the fire temple. What am I looking for? Maybe like one more rupee. Oh yeah, I go in here to show off something. Of course I do. Remember these guys from every other Zelda game? You know, the Deku Squibs. Oh, look at that, it gives you bombs. Anyway, you want to get these guys by going into your menu and selecting your shield. Yes, it does come in handy. See, because we fought these before. Just bounce in that back at him, then you can talk to him. It's kind of pointless and a waste of a bomb, but he just says where his other friend is that will give you something very important in the game. Oh, we're really only seven minutes in? Really? This father's video was a lot longer than I thought in recording. Anyway, selecting bombs. Let's blow a hole on uh, let's blow a hole in the wall over here. Boom. And we will find Another Deku scrub. You know, some people say Deku, and some people say Deku. I, I, you know, I've kind of grown up thinking it's Deku, but I, I prefer to say Deku when I realize it. And yes, you will buy a bottle off him for 20 rupees. Oh, how important bottles are in the Zelda series. I think in our all Zelda games there are four bottles, except in Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks where there are none, and Majora's Mask where there are six. Hmm, I think I think that's about right. If I'm missing anything else, it'll go up on screen. So what am I doing now? Oh yeah, I go back and try and cruise skin zones, which epically fails. I don't actually have any kin zones right now. Oh, we're gonna go talk to... I cannot remember her name. Does she have a name? I think it is Anju, actually. Anyway, the point of this game is to go and get as many chickens as she asks in how many ever seconds, and I I nearly lost it here. In fact, I think I do lose it. No, no, I don't. So close I was. Yeah, I think her name's Andrew. I I think so, actually. 
Never could it be the same Andrew from Majora's Mask and or kind of time? So she or maybe this is Andrew's Hyrulean counterpart from Terminia. I never actually thought about that. Damn. I I completely didn't pay attention then. I think I've not didn't do this one. Yeah, I missed it. Did you see the chicken go hurt then? A lot of cookies. You missed one. Anyway. Uh yeah, the if this happens in a lot of Zelda games actually with cuckoos in them. If you attack them enough times, they will start flying from the outer edges of the screen into you until you die. Yeah, that's how lethal they are. Okay, I'll definitely do it this time. And that ghost that's there will be kinda important, but not for a while. Not for a long while. Hmm. Ugh, god damn, I'm tired. And there's another 15 minutes of recording left. I think she keeps giving you like a better reward of money and shells for doing this. But most of them you can't actually get right now. We're gonna need a certain ability to really do that. Ah, the gold cuckoos. These are the nine ones. You will want to pick these up and throw them a few seconds after you pick them up. Cause they will jump out of your hands and they will run from you. Yeah, it's extremely hard to find them. When they jump out of your hands and run. If you can, try and avoid them anyway. Did I do it? I didn't pay attention again. No, no I didn't do it. Give up, give up, yes. I kind of have something to talk about then, but I missed it. Oh yeah. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little shabby today. I kind of have a cold. So, and there's not really much to talk about considering I'm doing this commentary after the video, making it actually boring for me to watch as well. Anyway, let's go to the bottle and get some water from here. You can get water from anywhere, literally anywhere there is water. So you can get it from here, for example, but I think they intended you to get it from there, just, just below us. So anyway, drop it on this plant. And we can carry on through Mount Colonel Base. And you can see the green water will be used a little later. Okay, then we watch out for the boulders there. Not really much of a threat, but you know, there's something to talk about on the way. Little cave here. Go suck your bombs again. Our bombs are really important in the beginning of the game. Not so much later though. And in here will be fairies and more rubies. Now what you can do here is get an empty bottle and you can catch a fairy. So I didn't I didn't actually know this for quite a while. I only found out maybe a month ago. But when you die when you run out of hearts, basically, now the fairy will revive you. So you can have up to four fairies, you know, giving you like. If I have four, if I had four fairies now with all the bottles, I'd like have like five lives. Like I die now, and then I'd have another four chances of life. Anyway, this confused me as a kid. You gotta get bombs and blow up this wall right here, and that took me ages to figure out. Then you can just carry on up. Red choo choos don't pose much more of a threat. They're just kind of a bit smarter and a bit harder to take down. So you're gonna blow up this rock before you go into this this one. Then turn small on this rock. Ok, 
with the crystals. I, I love the way the crystals look in that area. And now we come to another little back alley, you could say, of, of the Minish people. I'm sorry, I got confused then. Anyway, you're gonna get, gonna get your water. Your, your water? Just, just empty out your fairy. You, I can't use it yet because I'm gonna go one bottle. And get some Crenel hot spring water. You wanna hold on to that for later. Oh god. Computer spazzed out for there for a second. So now carrying on, go back up to being big, you don't have to go through the ladder cave, just jump off the end. I'll change my gust jar just to get rid of these. They will hurt you if you touch them, but you know it's no no biggie. Now it is wise to go to, to keep keep an eye on this little hut because there is a Dega shop in there who I'm sorry about that I got to cut away he will sell you 10 bombs for 30 rupees which at this point in the game is really good well at, at, at any point in the game is really good actually okay, we're now going to go in this cave get rid of the keys because they will make it a bit annoying and use the mushroom to cross the gap. No, not bombs. Yeah, I tried to be a hero and throw it into the abyss, but the, yeah, they didn't want to turn out just the way I planned. Not really a hard cave, just carry on through. Now these, these, I, I actually think it was masked dark rocks, but they don't actually shoot anything. There's two ways of killing them. You can use the gust jar to pull off their masks, like so, making them absolutely helpless, or you can wait for them to run and then you can stab them in the back, just like many friends people have. Oh, that was that was that was dark. That was dark. You can't actually hit them from the front with parts. You can only hit them from the back, unless you take the mask away. All oh, these whirlwinds. These are another new thing we can come to. Damn, there's a lot of explaining in this video. Jump off the edge into them and you will start to fly. Up again. And there we go. Now we kind of come to the end of Mount Colonel Base. But there's still like another uh, seven minutes of video left. So. We're killing off those. Go up here and you will actually come to Mount Cornell. If you check your map, you can actually see the entire area now. We have a huge area to explore, and there's the fire element, as you can see. So that's where we're gonna go. Turn the map off now. Now, we'll get bombs. Be sure to have more than three bombs when you come in here. I didn't, and I had to go back. If you don't, you definitely want to get the middle one, then whichever one. Stop pulling in the water. You know, you've got a piece of heart here you can get. And in this one, I believe there's a. Stop pulling in the water. A blue kinstone. Nope, 50 rupees. You know, that'll do fine, actually. Yeah, in which case, I think the other one has a blue kinstone. You know, I, I'm going to cut out. Come back with a few bombs, okay? I'll see you guys back then, I guess. I'm going to play with your mask, and I'm gonna sort that in the small towns. I'll be dying, I won't see what I'm wearing, so I better get off, my behind me, my behind me, behind me. No crap. Bombs.
Get them on the toilet. Mm -hmm. we'll rush it up. Okay, we're back. So the other two will be back, but you will already blow them up. So now we're going to get our bombs and blow the third one up. Getting you, sir. Yeah, I blew his armies. So now I think we're going to try and actually get up to Mount Cornell. Before you want to go anywhere, you want to get rid of these. Cause they will just become annoying later. But if you get rid of them now, then nothing. Anyway, Gestra, you will want to get rid of some of these, just for that. Then followed by getting rid of these, which I also got stuck on as a kid, because I didn't know you could do this. Anyway, turning Minish. Let's go check out the hole we made. It's an actual miniature's house. A steal from him. I said I wanted to check if this was the right red piece to use for what we're gonna do, but it wasn't, so we just had to leave. Before you want. To yeah, that happens. You'll get hurt by the spikes and bounce back into the hole. Now before you turn big, you'll want to go up to the hole to the right. You'll want to go up here. Then go through this goddamn cave. There's what's two, four or five of these caves in the game and they're just plain annoying. This bit isn't so bad because you can't fall off the edge, but some of the others are just. Alright, well now we've got to go back is the most annoying thing. Why can't you just hop off that little tiny ledge? Come on, you've seen him, what it, the stuff he does in like Majora's Mask and stuff. Hmm. And now you will want to not turn big yet, but go over here. Go into this little mini scene, get rid of all the bugs, and. Oh, I just realized I'm low on health. Didn't actually realize that in recording. Now you want to go over here and get this huge ass bean. Now there's nothing behind it, don't worry, so you can just, you can just carry on. I'm going to take that bean and throw it into the hole. Don't walk it into the hole, otherwise you will lose like a whole heart. I swear to God. Okay, now that the bean's back, you will want to turn big now. And now, we pour our hot spring water into the potted plant. Dun dun. Okay, now that we're actually on Mount Cornell, I think we will actually end it off here. Because I can finally go to sleep after this. Oh my god. I'll see you guys next episode. See you guys when we might climb Mount Cornell. Yeah.